Hey everyone, this is Kevin coming at you live from the central product team. I uh, just wanted to quickly reach out and introduce some of the new capabilities that we're seeing in LogMeIn Central as of today, uh, August 23rd. So uh, first off, in order to see these new capabilities, I do just want to um, give you a little bit of background here. Uh, we do have a new host version as well as a new client version that's available for PCs and Macs. Um, first off, the uh, host version for PCs is going to be build 11.548. Um, you also want to open up your LogMeIn client application uh, and you should be able to automatically update that as well. So some of these capabilities are going to be a review of what we've released earlier in the month. Um, the first two here, uh, I'm going to start with the deployment section. We do now have a link directly related to your deployment packages. So if you've been uh, using this before, you need to copy that link again, send it to someone else. Um, instead of having to edit the package, you can go here and just copy it directly. Makes it a little bit easier to paste into any type of uh, SMS messenger, um, maybe Slack or internal office communicator, as well as a email client. Uh, in addition to that, something else I had introduced um, last time was the uh, scripting capabilities that we've added here as well. So if you go to one to many and you go into the tasks section, you go to execute a remote command, you'll see now that in addition to CMD commands, we also offer the ability to push out PowerShell commands. Um, and these can be multi-line commands as well. So you'll notice that we do have uh, line numbers here, a little bit um, closer to a, a script editor that you would be used to. Um, in addition to that, we do have color coding for some of these to make it a little bit easier to read, especially if you're putting in a larger command. So if I want to put in my shutdown command here, or I'm going to say maybe reboot the machine, I can very easily put this in, set my time, any numeric value is going to appear in green, and then of course any string uh, or, or text string that's going to appear between two uh, quotation marks will appear in a dark red. Uh, so here I may just want to say that the uh, computer will restart. And now I can very easily read this as if I was using my uh, text editor or any type of uh, script editor. In addition to this, I did want to call out a few things here on the site. Um, we do have the community repository site still live, uh, but we have also added a community GitHub. So if you have uh, any scripts that you would like to share with others, or if you're looking to create your own scripts and want a place to start, uh, this is perfect right down here. Community GitHub is accessible uh, through just about any of the one-to-many tasks in this section. Uh, moving forward here, one of the newer features, um, we've had a lot of fixes and you'll see these in the release notes that have come out. But in particular, I want to call attention to one, which is the report duration. Um, so we are now showing uh, a more, much more accurate report duration for remote control, but we've added an additional report on top of this. So if you uh, head over to your report viewer and you go to account activity and usage as your category, uh, simply select remote sessions. You'll see that remote access sessions in last month is now a uh, is different from remote sessions. Um, this is also going to default by the previous month. But if we click on this here and we hit view report, you're not only seeing who's been doing a remote control, but you're also seeing uh, you know, what else they've been doing within log me in. So uh, as background access be, starts to catch on a little bit more and more, um, you can see not just again, remote control, but who has been accessing uh, computers from the back end or who's been performing file management, uh, really anything that's occurring outside of remote control. And you'll get the correct duration here on this report. Lastly, I did just want to address uh, some of the fixes that we've released within LogMe and Central. Uh, naturally, you'll see these in the release notes. Um, we just discussed the report duration. Uh, but in addition to that, I did want to talk a little bit about uh, Windows updates. Uh, we are now showing that uh, the ability to customize your uh, Windows updates, even if they're on a domain. So if, you're, if your computers are on a domain, uh, they're no longer going to receive that banner saying that the domain uh, is preventing you from making changes to how updates are applied. Uh, in addition to that, screen blanking has also been fixed. So uh, if this is something that you've been looking at uh, for a while, go ahead and uh, make sure that, again, you update to the latest build of the host software, and that should fix the screen blanking issue that we've been seeing for uh, a while now. Uh, and then finally, I did just want to introduce, um, we do have a uh, beta for our Linux 
um, support. So we are able to now connect remotely to Linux devices and get directly to the terminal. Um, if you would like to take a look at this, uh, demo it, uh, relay this to anyone else, you can find that in the release notes as well. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure coming to you with these new capabilities. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us directly. And I uh, hope you enjoy the new capabilities that we have to offer within LogMeIn Central. Thanks so much.